Hello there, welcome back to Crusader Kings 3 A Game of Thrones. I still have a little bit of a cold, but that's not going to stop us today. Uh, what might stop us is the 100,000 Targaryen soldiers. In fact, it's only 99,000 now. Guys, I think the tides are turning. Uh, speaking of which, I also think we have enough gold now where income might not be a problem, especially with all of our sieging. So instead of going on organized army, reduce uh, raised army maintenance by 20%. That's huge. I'm thinking of going back onto train commanders just to increase our captain effectiveness as well as our men at arms damage. Let's see, if I do that, we're down to minus 19. I think we can afford that. I think. Uh, and then likewise, what I'm going to do is go down here. Let's go to scatter fleets just because it increases uh, supply duration. We might need a Bella Admiral though to keep this up. You're my marshal. You're my acclaimed knight. Yes. Let's go ahead and uh, assign Simmond here. And then our supply duration lasts for another 18%. I think that's going to be important. But without further ado, let's do some more sieging. How much gold here? 57 gold. Uh, how long does it take to siege? Three months. Right. That's longer than I was expecting. Why is that? Because it has a fort level of 10. Oh dear. Okay, in that case, I think it might be time to split off a new army. <laughs> you guys have been telling me to do this for so long. Wow. Our men at arms are really looking depleted, huh? All right, let's go ahead and do this. What we could also do then is maybe get a, a military engineer here. Simmond, you're becoming a, a popular man. Let's just pick, get this down. And you guys can sit here and, and maybe get some replenishment. I think you can replenish here, although I'm not sure. You, you don't get very much because we're in enemy territory. Uh, but that should be fine. What are the Targaryens doing? Some of them are returning, lads. Val is a battle we can win. It's only 20,000. I am almost certain Val is a battle we can win. Six months. The problem is sieging takes so long if we split the army. So, so long. Which is kind of why I didn't want to split the army. So actually, let's put them back together. Because I'm just not willing to wait that long. Um, let's see. It's back down to 36 days. What I could do is maybe pull on a military engineer here. That goes down a little bit. Although the Targaryens are here. Where are they going to land? This is this is a, a big question, right? Let's go down to free time speed, just so I'm paying attention. We want to get them with the disembark. Okay, they're landing over here. We don't have time to continue the siege, lads. Get down to Black Stripe. We have Targaryens to murder. Right, they're landing here now. Okay, okay. Never mind. Let's go back. Are they going to land here? Oh, okay. Some of them are definitely landing. Um, This is a river crossing. No, we're going to win. We're going to win. Right. The Battle of Grainstead is underway. 84 battle advantage. Let's see how the battle goes. 14,000 men. The other Targaryens seem to be fleeing. No, nope, they are now reinforcing. We are going to absolutely crush them. <laughs> Another 6,000 lads. Look at that. Oh, Duncan is here. <gasps> Maybe we can capture him. <gasps> Guys. Guys. I said it. Did I not say at the end of the last episode the rebellion might end in the fifth episode? How did we do the slaughter of Grainstead? We lost 3,000 men, but killed 14,000. Look at this beautiful stuff. Uh, we had another battle here where <laughs> Duncan rode in on horseback by himself. He killed 36 men before he fell, though. Uh, what a guy, what a guy. Actually, that's very impressive. Uh, we've captured him as well. And then, of course, we fought against Lord Commander... Gerald Hightower. Ooh. Um, he lost 7,000 men to our 100, though. We absolutely slaughtered his men. But, guys. It was looking a little bit sketchy for a while there. Four episodes, two hours this rebellion has lasted for in total. But it is time for us to enforce the demands. Holy crap, we got a lot of stuff. I depose King Duncan of the Iron Throne and take the seven kingdoms of the Iron Throne for myself. The valuable prisoners taken by all world participants will be released. The Blackfire host is destroyed. But because of that, I get the seven kingdoms of the Iron Throne, as well as the Lord Paramountcy of the Crown, Land, Crown Lands, as well as Dragonstone. Very nice. We get King's Landing. We get Dragonstone. We get Summerfield. Uh, we get King's Landing again. Dragonstone again. And uh, we get Gaiman's Tower and Visenya's Hill, which is a temple. And we get all of these prisoners, which we will have to decide what to do with. Let us enforce the demands. This was a long time coming. We have two more wars as well to deal with. 
It is now up to me to lead the vast seven kingdoms my kingsman Duncan has left behind. I stand before my vassals, adjust my new crown, and crack my knuckles. All the things that I will accomplish. Long live the king. We have also become the new cultural head, of course. I am now a mighty king. And the seven kingdoms are mine. To the evil king, Malus, may your years be short and miserable. You are a much greater foe than I imagined. In order to put an end to his bloodshed, I will comply with the man. So be it. Oh, lads. We did it. We have the Iron Throne. How long for, though? Uh, I think there's going to be some rebellions, which we're going to deal with as well. In your capacity uh, as King of the Iron Throne, you will now be assisted by the Grand Maester. He doesn't like me very much, but hopefully he serves me loyally. Right. I believe if we unpause, we got a lot of stuff to do here. If we unpause, we should get an event with what to do with all of our prisoners. Yeah, I've now lost refusing marriage, so I can also take a wife as well. Uh, the new High Scepter doesn't endorse me, and a dissolution faction has disbanded. That's good news. The Iron Throne is now mine. Years after my grandfather was spurned by the Pretender King, Daeron the Falseborn. A Blackfire at last sits rightfully upon the seat of the Seven Kingdoms. Yet there are those in my realm who would doubt my legitimacy. Uh, it behooves me to do all I can to tighten my grip around the neck of Westeros. If I were to take a Targaryen bride, none would doubt the lineage of our children. The existence of a husband is an issue, but not one insurmountable. So I have a... Wait, are you guys dead? They're dead. Ah. There's a slight problem here. Can I not take... Um, wait, wait, wait. Are you a son? I think you're a son, right? Do you not have any daughters? They're betrothed already. Oh dear. Okay, we might not marry a Targaryen then. We can't take Rayla or, or Shaver Targaryen because they've, they've already been killed. Um, I shall pick my own bride. Well, I have lost the trait refusing marriage. Right, right. Now while I still upon the Iron Throne, it is uh, time for my heir Maynard to take his place as Prince of Dragonstone. Well, I can keep the traditional seat of the Conqueror for myself as a royal refuge. No, nope. the tradition must be upheld. I should grant Maynard Dragonstone. Maynard, well done, my son. Well done. We're going to have a royal wedding as well. He's going to marry into House Arryn. Whether we undo that or not, we'll have to look at. But they did help us take the Seven Kingdoms. And uh, now that I control the Seven Kingdoms, I ought to reward the loyalty of my supporters. But disputed lands are disreputable. Much like my supporter, Tom Spotted Butcher, and distant from my new throne. Perhaps I could grant the disputed lands to him, knowing he'll continue to support me. With his loyalty. Do you know what? I think that is a good spot for the butcher. Lord Tom. Are you even... Yeah, you are. Okay, you're up here. Yeah, yeah, yes. I will give you the disputed lands. Look at that. So he's down here now. Um, Is he independent? Yes. Um, But we are allied. Okay, that's nice. What we could do is maybe help him take all of Essos as well. Um, But first, we need to make sure Westeros is secure. So do we have an event? Oh, we have a bloody a plague already? No. No, we don't. The plague's over there. Um, it's only a minor plague. Hopefully it doesn't reach us. Faction created against us. The faction to install Prince Maynard of Dragonstone uh, has already been started. Holy crap. And we have a crazy dissolution faction from Dawn. Okay. Uh, Maynard himself actually wants to overthrow me, which is very interesting. Right. We need to organize the council. My son is Hand of the King. Why does he hate me so much? Legitimacy is a problem. Legitimacy is a problem, right. Can I find myself a wife? I don't think there's any Targaryens that would marry me. There's no Targaryens that would marry me. Are the Targaryens just the dying people at this point? Uh, let's see. Uh, Targaryen dynasty... All? No, no, no. There are Targaryens left, but they're already all betrothed off. Okay. We have the dangerous faction. Are we not going to get a pop-up with um, what to do with our prisoners? Uh, is this it? Maybe faction created against me. Independence faction has now been started by Lord Roro, the blind bastard. The dust of the latest conquest has settled and I stand alone before my iron throne. The true king of the Andals, the Roinar, and the first men. All the rest of the band of nine have perished. I am now faced with my final test to rule what we conquered. Will the rest of my ragtag band 
Our ghosts now. Long may we reign. We gain a level of fame, but no legitimacy. That's uh, unfortunate. I feel like they should maybe add some. And um, that would be cool. Right, let's sort the council. Um, we need a chancellor. Lord John the Just of the Vale. We are going to marry into his house. He doesn't like me. But I'm going to give him a spot on the council. Let's see. Uh, domestic affairs. Yeah, let's go domestic affairs. Why do you hate me so much? Minus 86 from the offensive war. Yeah, that would do it. That would do it. Okay, we need a steward as well. Master Clifford of Flower. Let's make him steward or the master of coin. Collect taxes. Uh, I think that would be good. Yeah, let's keep him on collect taxes. You're going to be on domestic affairs. My master at arms here. We could go with Lord Edwile of the North. Let's get a Stark on the council. I think I want powerful houses on the council. Uh, we will keep him on train commanders for now. Although, do we need any control down here? Let's see. Um, yeah, control is at zero. In fact, let's put you on increased control. That's going to take five years as well. As for our spy master. Wow. Um, okay. They don't like me very much. Right. That's a little bit of a problem. I think I'm going to promote Lord Simmons here. Oh, he's worse though. Do you know what? I'm going to start swaying you. Let's start swaying. Hopefully he can like me. Master of ships. Let's put you on protect trade now again. Um, and I need to reassign someone. Princess Loreza of Dawn. Hopefully you can learn to like me. And now the council is organized. Let's see. I'm not married. I do need a wife. Probably an alliance would be good here. We could marry into the Lannister house. We could marry into the Tyrells. The Tyrells seem to be stronger. They have 35,000 men. The Lannisters only have 22,000. Which great house do I wish to bring alongside me? The Greyjoys, maybe? We could also marry into the Greyjoys. That could be good. They are only 14,000. I think the Stormlands are right next to us. So that would also be useful. Uh, but they're all quite young. Let's see. Let's... Uh, she's wheezing as well. I think we're going to marry into the Lannisters. Let us betroth ourselves to Jane Lannister. Send the proposal. Whether we uh, live long enough to see her come of age, we'll have to see. Oh, we also got loads of crowns now. Crown of the First Sun. Crown of the Dragonbane. Crown of the Unworthy. Ooh, and we've also got the Crown of the Anvil. Do any of these have good stats for us? I think we're going to keep the Crown of the Anvil for now. <gasps> the Royal Court. Of course. We must see ourselves sat upon the Iron Throne. We're not in here, though, currently. We're not here. Uh, uh, I think I'm still leading an army, am I? Yeah, let's... Okay, let's just disband those quickly. We'll deal with these afterwards. We have to take a look at ourselves sat on the Iron Throne. There we are, guys. <laughs> look at this. We did it! We are sat on the Iron Throne. Now we need to keep it, though. Um, let's see. I have... Court Grandeur is down. Okay, can I just max this out? Oh, it's expensive. It's very expensive. Let, let's ignore that for now. Uh, court artifacts. I think I do have some. We have a custom... Okay, we have the Iron Throne here. It gives us prestige, renown, popular opinion, which is nice. As well as legitimacy gain, which we really, really need. I think everything else is displayed. No, it's not. We have a load of stuff here. Uh, we have this one displayed. Let's destroy the Targaryen banner. I changed my mind. Yeah, let's destroy this. Uh, all the Targaryen banners are going to be destroyed. We keep the Blackfire banner. There we go. Uh, we got the Iron Throne War banner. I will keep that one. What's next? <laughs> I feel like... Oh, we, we, we have so much to do. Yeah, this is seven months. And then my son's going to rise against me. Holy crap. Okay. Um, right, we're going to have to re-station all of our men-at-arms now, aren't we? Let's station these guys in the capital. What holdings do I have? Oh, I have Summer... Ah, I have the Chart Hill. Okay, there's basically nothing here. Right, that's a little problematic. Um, Let's go ahead and put you guys... Now, let's put you guys down here. You're not going to get any buffs, but that's just kind of what it is. It's a problem, it's a problem. Right, uh, I can appoint a worthy successor to the Black Dread. Let's go ahead and do that. Do we have a Kingsguard as well? I think so. I can change my son's contract. Right. Let's do that and raise the taxes. 
<laughs> we like to. Why is the prisoner event not fired, I wonder? If I unpause, will it fire? Gain the level of fame. Uh, there we go. We have formed an alliance with Titus. Greetings, my perceptive leech. I gladly accept your betrothal proposition. You will be betrothed to my granddaughter, Jane. Excellent news. We are now allies with the Lannisters. We are losing gold. But is that because we're replenishing? Yes, we've got a bit of gold now. Uh, it's times like these, it's best to be wary of any strange smells. This one, however, emanates from a corner of the market square. And it is positively fragrant. Get your sachets here. Only the freshest and best herbs used. The crafty merchant stores covered in various aromatics. And he holds a pouch filled with them in each hand as he hawks for wares. He notices me and extends one for me to try. Only the best, my lord. Keep your right safe from Westerman's sweat, it will. I pluck the sachet from the proper uh, hand. It doesn't. It does seem like something that would keep the miasma away. Um, let's see. Oh, 145 gold. These won't save a soul. I don't want to be spending gold right now. Uh, I don't have a wet nurse. Okay, let's employ you. There we go. Uh, I think my sons do have guardians. Uh, I can negotiate an alliance with my son. No, I can't. Maybe I should use the hook for that. Um, I can hire a maester. I, I already have one, right? Yeah, Martin will be my maester. Okay, okay. Uh, prestige. Monthly lifestyle experience. Yeah, let's go with this one. That's all sorted. We need wardens. We do. Oh, but I need to do everything like this. Prisoners. Okay, we still got this. My son's going to inher inherit the stepstones. Right, right, right. Uh, I can declare wars. Are we going to get a prisoner pop-up? I don't think we are. I think we have to decide what to do ourselves with this. So... Where is Duncan? Where is Duncan? I wish to meet with him. I might have already gone past him. Uh, it's much quicker. We just saw by, by this. My eyes go funny when I do that as well. Right, there's Duncan. What are we going to do with him, lads? Jenny is still alive, but she's not a Targaryen. We could kill him. Minus 5,000 gold. <laughs> Should we send him to the Night's Watch? We could we could execute him. I lose stress because I'm sadistic. But I, a lot of people are going to hate me because of this. I think... Hmm. We could banish him to Essos. How would he like it if he was banished to Essos? Like I was. No, 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 no. I think we banish him and we send him to join the Night's Watch. He will not accept. He's never going to accept that. Okay. He's never going to accept. We only have one choice. Duncan the Small. It is the time for you to meet your end. <laughs> oh, bloody hell, guys. Right, so everyone else, they won't be... Oh, they will be able to join a faction, right? Everyone hates me. I would love to do a mass ransom. Absolutely love to do a mass ransom here. Uh, let's do it. That should get us a lot of gold. Uh, 42 people. We got 44 prisoners. Let's see how much gold we get from that. There we go. Look at that. It's absolutely flying up. We might be able to build a better army. Uh, we gained a favor hook on Lord Eden. Oh, we also gained hooks as well. Gained a rival. Okay, interesting. Uh, let's pause a second. Get rid of all of these. We got 1,400 gold. We can probably... King Malus's pox has spread. Wait, there's a pox. Uh, it's not in King's Landing, though. Where is King Malus's pox? I'm not quite sure. Alliance expired with Titus Lannister because he died? Oh, he died of a broken heart. King Malus's pox. I mean, we have the Westerman sweats. Is it this one? Ah, King Malus's pox is down in Old Town. Okay. Um, we, we, we will ignore that for the time being. Holy crap. We're, we're so overwhelmed. Oh, I am. Uh, I can change your contract. Okay, let's get the... Let's get the taxes flowing, lads. We need some taxes. We got 1,400 gold. Are we building anything in King's Landing? Let's see. We have the Red Keep. Let's read some of these. Reduced cost for hosting a feast in this holding. We could host a feast. Although war is on the horizon. It's probably not good timing. Um, we get a oh, legitimate skin. That would be nice. The Red Keep is at the very heart of the Seven Kingdoms. High atop Egon's Hill. Its red walls and towers stand guard over the rules from atop the Iron Throne. Forged of the thousand blades of Egon's fallen foes. And we have the seven gates of King's Landing as well. Built on the orders of King Egon I by Osmond the Strong and Grand Maester Garen. 
The walls of King's Landings are dominated by massive gates. The gates of the gods, the Lion Gate, the River Gate, the Old Gate, the Iron Gate, the King's Gate, and the Dragon's Gate. Right, right, right. Uh, we have some windmills. Let's upgrade those because I know they give us money. <laughs> uh, and money would be very nice right now. We still have some prisoners. And we're gaining more rivals, right? That's unfortunate. Uh, a grand tournament. I don't think we can afford that right now. Let's ransom you for a little bit of gold. Then I think we need to check the prisoners. Uh, for some possible knights. Right, to the implacable King Malus of the Iron Throne, I call you to honor our alliance and join me in the Tyrosh Conquest in the county of Akadar. 4,000 versus 8,000. I will join, but... Oh, we already have wars here. So what's this? The Pentos claim on the county. Okay, so we need to deal with this. We've also got this, a Liberty War. Um, That's up in the Vale, right. I should probably help my the Arons with this pretty soon. So let's actually go ahead and sell a new banner up in Arin territory. We've got 6,000 supply here. Is there anywhere better? At 12, 28,000. Wow. Okay, let's pull it down here. Uh, I will raise the men at arms. I don't think we need to raise any more than that. Uh, and I will help siege. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. It's going to take 38 days. Greetings, my perceptive liege. I've arrived in the Red Keep to pay homage to you. Glorious king as a show of my loyalty. I bring you rich gifts worthy of your majesty as a token of my goodwill and servitude. Let's show him in at once. And he brought a gift of 50 gold. Lord Giles the weak. I accept your generous gifts. You don't like me, but at least you respect me. That is all I can ask for. In this troubling time. Right, the, the King Mainless's pox is spreading like crazy. Um, where is it? It's all the way down here. Yeah, Old Town might get hit with that, but that's their problem. Why have they named the pox after me? What did I do to deserve that? The Negotiate Alliance. Greetings, my impressive liege. I eagerly propose to formalize the ties. I already... My son wants an alliance. Yes, I will accept that. So that means the faction should disband, right? At least you should leave this. Ah... The problem is, the problem is, um, he can't join this, but the Starks, the Tullys, the Baratheons, <laughs> um, no one else wants me in, con in control. Uh, war is coming again. To my liege, two years ago, you promised to aid me in the Liberty War, yet so far you have done nothing to support me in this endeavor. What is the point of our alliance if you never even lift a finger to help me? John, I am, can you not see my men being raised? I was fighting for the Iron Throne. I will send my troops to your aid immediately. Do not worry. They are right here, my friend. Look, they're about to lay siege to your enemies, in fact. Uh, you're on the battlefield together. All right, let's go ahead and end this Liberty War for him. He's getting a bit uh, impatient. <laughs> I mean, it has been two years. Uh, we have a lot of criminals. My soulmates. Can I not marry my soulmates? Arrange marriage? Surely. Also, my second son, Sila. Oh, we might be able to get an, uh, okay, alliance power. We could marry him to the Greyjoys. How old is he? He's four years old. Nine, eight, eleven, two. Uh, eleven should be fine. Let's marry him off to the Greyjoys. Yes, let us do that. We need allies. Sila, you're going to become uh, married to the Greyjoys. He's a bastard. Can I legitimize him? I would like to legitimize him. Um, I don't think we can, actually. Also, I... Ah, oh, Maynar. Is it too... Oh, look at your armor. That's so bloody cool. Uh, I can offer him knighthood, right? Are you married already? Are ah, you betrothed to the Aaron, of course. Oh, we need gold for the Grand Wedding. Don't forget. Okay, I'm going to offer him a knighthood. It costs me prestige. But he becomes a knight. Let's do that. And then I can show you one of the cool mods I have uh, installed. My son and heir is knighted. News reaches me that my son and heir, Prince Maynard, has been made a knight. He has made House Blackfire very proud. Good for him. Good for him. And there we go. Greetings, my impressive liege. I gladly accept your betrothal proposition. Your son, Silo, will be betrothed to my sister, Asher. We have an alliance with the Greyjoys. We don't have any Targaryens to marry, so uh, we're going to have to do it this way. We need to secure the kingdom. <laughs> I this feels so wrong, guys. It's so wrong. It's medieval. It's fine. It's fine. We can pull our morals to one side. Right, I was about to do something and I've completely forgotten now. You're already married off. Yes, yes, yes. 
uh, I knighted you. What about Sila? Uh, I can't train him yet. No, I can't because he has to be of age. Okay. Let's continue with this then. Ah, I was going to show you about one of the cool mods. Yes, yes. So if I click on my character, I have this button here. Uh, Night Trees. And if I now expand this, I can see everyone I knight and everyone at my knight's knight. So our, my knight tree has two knights. I'm the, the founder and then I knighted my son. And then we'll get to see anyone else I knight and then anyone my son knights. It's super cool. So we could even look... Let's see. Do I do I not have a Kingsguard? Oh, I do have a Kingsguard. So, for example, we could go to Gerald Hightower here. Oh, is he not a knight? Oh, he doesn't have a knight history. Um, but let's see. Uh, Sebastian Rushmore. If we go to his knight tree, we can say Sir Duncan Targaryen actually knighted him. And then we can see all of the knights that he knighted. It's super cool. I really like this. I like this a lot. Um, it's something small, but maybe we'll see it come. Uh, and be something cool. Sandstone fever has spread. There's so many plagues happening. And the pop-ups uh, absolutely spam uh, the notifications, don't they? Prisoner taken in siege. Can we ransom them? We have a lot of prisoners we can ransom, actually. 50 gold. Let's do that. Court grandeur is increasing. That's nice. <laughs> there's so much going on. And there's so much I have to organize. Right, let's ransom you guys. We're going to take this in three months. Oh, no. Is that the Stark? Lord Edwile Stark has sent a raven that has just arrived. To my leech, the right to rule the Iron Throne belongs to Prince Maynard of Dragonstone by divine right. And we have gathered the support required to make it so. Accept this fact peacefully, or we will make you do so by force. I have only just, only just, took the Iron Throne. I will not be threatened by my vassals. This is painful. Then I must go to war against my son. The Iron Throne is at a state of war. We should send ravens to the Great Lord, rallying them to King Malus of the Iron Throne's defense. Call the banners. Ooh, Dawn joined on our side. I just noticed. That's interesting because I didn't think they liked me. The Arians have joined on my side as well. Um, we will take a look at all the big houses that joined once this uh, finishes. Uh, my dear father, your ruthlessness is enviable. It seems that there is no recourse for our dispute other than to settle it on the battlefield. My son, it pains me that we are in this situation right now. But I will not forgive you for this. I need a new marshal. Lord John of Longgrass is about to die. Uh, Lord Alaric, the laughing bat of Strongbox. You will become my new marshal. Uh, and then, let's see, I need, need a new hand of the king. I do need a new hand of the king. Who should I put? The Greyjoys or the Arryns would probably be a good call. Lord John is already my master of laws, though. I mean, he's been my longest ally. So I'm actually going to make him hand of the king. And then I need a new chancellor. Uh, Princess Lorenza, you're my master of ships. I'm going to reassign you to my master of laws. And then we need a new admiral. Let's see, Lord Alistair of Brightwater. Can I not... What's the Greyjoy... What's he good at? Uh, I, I mean, I guess I could make him my Admiral. Does he have any other good stats? He's a good spy master, but he doesn't like me very much. I mean, <laughs> neither does this one. Do you know what? I'm going to make the Greyjoy my Admiral. Actually, no, 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 no. I could make him a Warden instead. We have those positions. I still haven't done. Right, okay. Uh, in that case, Lord Alistair, you're going to become an admiral. Let's put you on protect trade, yes. Right, we reshuffled the council. And the king's guard is looking fine. Uh, bodyguard, hostile scheme resistance. Okay, this is the same. My king's guard is assigned to protection. Will be assigned to bodyguard. Eh? Bodyguard. Okay, uh, I'm not quite sure what that does. But we, we, we do have this. Nominate a successor. Uh, what's this for? And uh, this is for the Stepstones, right. Um, right, very well. Maynar is against me. So, Sila, I'm going to cast my vote for you, lad. How are we looking in this war? Who joined on my side? Uh, let's see. So, we got the um, Martels. Yeah, there we go. I always mix them up with the Tyrells. <laughs> we got the Martels, we got the Greyjoys, and we got the Arryns on our side. So far, no one has joined my son. 
No one has joined my son yet. Okay, let's raise the rest of our army here. And we're going to link them up with this uh, main force. And then we're going to go straight to Dragonstone. No enemies have joined yet. How is Maynard the new cultural head? Does he have a bigger army than me? No, 1700. Son, this was very foolish for you. Although I don't even think he was the one that pushed the faction because he wasn't in it. Uh, one of my knights have... Okay, we won the Liberty War. Okay, so be it. Right, right, right. Liberty War's done with. Uh, that's nice. Ally joins the war. Lord Dickon, okay. Let, let, let's stop raising the men. I think we have uh, enough. 22,000 to crush 1,700. We're going to get disembarked penalty, but that's fine. Uh, let's go ahead and link up our armies here. Uh, can I merge them? There we go. I will be leading them against my son. This might just be a misunderstanding. Who knows? Marshal Perk available. Well, he has risen his armies against me. I think there's a little bit of intrigue going on here. Because he didn't push the faction. The Starks did, and then the Starks didn't even join the war. I think there's some intrigue going on here. I don't think this is my son's fault. But he did still raise against me. Maybe he was forced. Uh, let's see. Romance. Ah, no one needs sway. Increase county. Control and county progress. Yes. Strict organization. We need that because we need to fix the control in King's Landing. Let us make our way to Dragonstone, let's. Oh no. Greetings, King Malus of the Iron Throne. Your wicked deeds have gone unpunished for far too long. That changes today, for I have come to deliver holy retribution upon you. I cannot lose. The roller is with me. A pirate crew conquest. Again. Oh crap. Okay. Uh, we could probably call for allies in that one, right? I can actually call on Prince Maynard uh, to help me with that. That's funny. Right, let's just deal with this rebellion first, and then we'll deal with all these extra wars. Okay, uh, Dawn have arrived. Let's land ourselves on Dragonstone here. We shouldn't get a disembark penalty. Um, oh, wow. To my liege, it is time for you to recognize that you are not to maintain the unity of the Iron Throne. It's time to end your rule. Of any others, the region needs more freedom. Accept our demands or face our swords on the battlefield. Dawn has risen against me. In the dissolution faction. I will not be threatened. Call the banners. We are in all out war. Rally the troops. Holy crap. Okay. Who's on my side for this one? Okay. The Lannisters are on my side. Uh, this is a bit buggy. The Lannisters, the Greyjoys, and the Arons. Okay. And you have no big, big houses on your side. So we should be able to win this. Dawn is rebelling against the Iron Throne already. Um, aren't you not helping me in this war though? Not anymore, I guess. Not anymore. Okay. <laughs> oh, we have missing council positions as well. Right, let's let's save this for the next episode, guys. The good news is we won the fifth rebellion. The bad news is the world is very much splintered and in chaos at the moment. Minus 37 gold. My council is in ruins. We're in so many wars right now. My son and heir has risen against me. Uh, but that will all be saved for the next episode. Thank you for watching as always. I will see you next time.